Good and good in the house. Back with another bang on video for ladies and gentlemen. Yes, the coronavirus has made sure that everyone is in a lockdown in the world. Well, but the videos will keep coming. So the first news that has to be hitting us: Arsenal star Granit Xhaka has entertained himself, uh, you know, by pranking his baby daughter. Well, yes, he's staying indoors after he was revealed that Gunnar's uh, boss has actually contacted the virus. We all know that. But recently, he actually uh, uh, is having fun at home. He uploaded a clip showing him approaching a slice of lemon before picking it up from the worktop. He gently feeds it to his baby girl who is propped up on the sofa. Moving on, Gareth Bale, Mason Mount and Luke Shaw are among the football stars taking part in the Combat Corona FIFA 20 charity live streaming session during the COVID-19 pandemic. It comes with football fans across the country and around the world craving their football fix. So is Callum Hudson are also several League One players, and so is Kieran Tierney. Well, moving on, West Ham chair uh, Karen Brady has moved to clarify his, her comments in last week's column for the Sun. He, she said that, you know, in her words, uh, last column was the talk of the town after she said that the season should be declared null and void if it couldn't continue. She said, "I did not say, and I ask you to please go back and read what I actually said." The season should be declared null and void now. I said that was an option only if the season could not be completed. But of course, we hope it will be. You, What you need to know is what we are doing everything we can to ensure the season does continue and that all domestic and European matches are played as soon as it is safe and possible to do so. Well, football agents are reportedly set to lose fortunes in owed fees following the continued economic uncertainty surrounding the coronavirus outbreak. Well, it is revealed that the Premier League chiefs are already looking at ways of ripping up players' contracts in the financial crisis as a way to slash costs. And agents stand to lose hundreds of thousands themselves with a host of lower-level intermedi intermediaries facing the prospect of going out of business. Well, let's see how things will pan out to be. Well. Former Arsenal striker Olivier Giroud has shown his support for medical workers as they battle to fight off coronavirus. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's happening. And the world of sport has been thrown into chaos as the pandemic rages the globe. A number of big events have been cancelled or postponed with the Football 2020 European Championships, one of the biggest casualties. And Giroud has paid tribute to all those involved in the battle to kill off the virus. And he said, actually, hi, everyone. Just wanted to bring my support to the medical practitioners who are doing an amazing job fighting the virus. Obviously, we need all of us to contribute and be responsible. Stay home, wash your hands and try to avoid unnecessary contact with people. We need to stick together. We can do it. I trust you. Be safe. Paul Mason thinks Mesut Ozil's wages are giving Arsenal a huge problem in, the, in their bid to renew PM Rick contract. Well, he says, it would be a major disaster for Arsenal if they lost Aubameyang. However, the decision will be made up and at least... It will be the club's decision as to what they would do. Do they give him 300k a week? I've always said they will have a problem until Mesut Ozil leaves the club. Every day he's there. Every other top player will want what he's on. It's a huge problem and not a new one. If they want to keep Aubameyang, they will have to pay him big money. But Arsenal may look at it and think, if we give him 300k a week for the next 2 or 3 years, is he going to be the same player? He's nearly 31 and by the time he's 34, he's not going to be the same player. I don't care who you are at 34. You are not the same player. Well, moving on. Well, it is quite exclusive that Premier League could buy English football another two-month extension to the season by agreeing to surrender one of its Europa League places next term. Yes, surrendering European place for a team that finishes seventh may earn English football several weeks more grace period to when qualifying starts. Thursday's decision not to resume the coronavirus cripple campaign before May has left the country facing the prospect of failing to meet the current June 30 deadline for all European competitions to be concluded. It's definitely not looking quite possible. Also, Thomas Partey will listen to offers this summer. The contract extension offer has been on the table for Thomas Partey for months, but he's yet to sign it. I don't know how things will pan out to be. I don't know how things will pan out to be. Well, these were the news of the day. I hope you enjoyed whatever came your way. All the views and news and everything about Arsenal comes on this platform every single day twice. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon. Follow me on my Instagram, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, do that. Follow me on my Instagram and definitely follow me on Twitter. Yes, I am active on Twitter. And 
also subscribe to this channel hit that bell icon i will see you in my next video until then cheers